Good evening, everybody. Um, I think I just want to say this is fabulous for all of those out in radio land. The Center of the Arts is almost full tonight. So uh, let's hear it for you guys for coming out here and caring. I'm thrilled to be asked to give you a brief history on the mine, and I think since I have my new history hat on, it's pretty uh, good that I'm doing that tonight. The town of Crested Butte was founded in 1880 as a supply town for the multitude of silver mining towns in the surrounding mountains. In the mid-1890s, after the silver bust in 1893, coal mining became the primary vocation of the town's residents and sustained the town until the end of the mid-1950s. Although the town almost became a ghost town when the big mine closed just south of town, Hard rock mining employed a small number of residents with the opening of the Keystone Mine and the Standard Mine on the south flanks of Mount Emmons. These mines supported a population of under 200 people until the ski area opened in 1961. Gunnison boomed in the 1870s with the influx of miners and traders and the railroad. The first ranchers came to the valley to supply beef to local miners. Western State College was founded in 1909 and as the, as the Gunnison State Normal School and was renamed Western State College in 1915. Although mining subjected the valley to boom and bust cycles, ranching and higher education became the stabilizing factor for the local economy. The ski area owner went bankrupt in 1960s and it was managed by receivers until the Callaways bought it in 1971. With the influx of the new money, the town of Crested Butte made a deliberate decision to focus its economic future on recreation and on tourism. The depressed market price of metals in the mid-1960s helped to close down the Standard Mine and the Keystone Mine. The actual demise of the Keystone Mine was because of the failure of the milling of the copper, lead, and silver when a black, slimy film surfaced as the main drift extended into the molybdenum deposit under the Red Lady. In 1977, when U.S. Energy was the former owner, they interested Amex Corporation to buy the, their property. Over the next five years, AMAX invested over $160 million on exploratory drilling to better define the size and the shape of the deposits, as well as the initial permitting process. In the early 1980s, the entry of five new molly deposits being developed in North America flooded the market with oversupply, hence the price of molly plummeted, forcing AMAX to abandon their project. During the next 30 years, the price of Mali languished. Recreation and tourism flourished in Crested Butte. Gunnison was sustained by Western State College and supported the growth in Crested Butte. Tax revenues for over the past 21 years in Crested Butte, as reflected in this graph, have shown the importance of both summer and winter seasons. Because of this growth, these two economic engines, ranching as an economic influence, was overshadowed but remains a prominent part of our culture and our society. Our local tourist economy is based on the pristine beauty of our surroundings and the abundance and the clarity of our water. The significance of water activities in our county and the completion of the Blue Mesa Reservoir in 1965 has become a magnet for recreationalists. While skiing is a mainstay of our winter business, summer outdoor activities contribute an equal amount to our prosperity. A conscious commitment has been made to make recreation and tourism the driver of our economy. Mining is not compatible with this commitment and will only create a detrimental impact to our ability to continue to prosper. 